In honor of Don't Hang Up, can you show us your prank calling skills? What's up guys, I'm Molly Argue in studio today at Young Hollywood with two guys that everybody loves, Garrett Clayton and Greg Sulkin. Thanks. Welcome back. That Thank was a nice you. introduction. Yeah, it was yeah. a nice. Oh, well it's so great to have you both here together. Yeah. So much fun. And we're gonna talk about Don't Hang Up, of course. Hello? This is Colby. This is the police, ma'am. You need to listen to me. Stay where you are. There is a man inside your house. Oh my god, my daughter! I need you to stay where you are. Listen, listen to me! Don't hang up. I'm very sorry to inform you that you've been pranked! It's funny because we both kind of came from a certain type or certain like brand, I would mm. say. Okay. And then this movie is the complete opposite of that. Mm -hmm. So um, it was kind of amazing to blend the friendship and then kind of see each other work and really trust each other because this film we had to trust each other. Yeah. yeah. What's something about each other that surprised you the most? That Garrett can like really cry for days. Like I like I didn't realize. What do you think of when you have to start crying? Do you have to start? Do you have to? Think Let's of not something? go there. Let's keep it positive. <laughs> oh really? Uh, like it's it's you really. Well, no. It, oh, it was. I'm 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 pretty sure it's because there was one scene which I'm gonna go full out and I'm crying and get all the cameras cameras you need because I'm not gonna hold back. And so it got to the point where like I was sobbing on the floor in. so hard that when they yelled cut, I didn't hear them yell cut, and they Stop. had to clear set. And Greg was like, you all right? And I was like, yeah, it's just gonna take a second. He's like, calm down, I'll be okay, I'll be okay. It was <laughs> it was intense. I mean, there was only extremes in this movie. There was like the, this rain machine they would use and we'd be like 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. shooting, but the water would be below zero temperatures. And so our lips started turning blue and like we started to get really pale and they were worried we were getting hypothermia. It sounds like it's gonna be a really intense movie. Very intense. Are you having fun? It's all one big joke to you, isn't it? These phone calls you make. Dude, just give it up already. We're done with you. We're just getting started, Brady. Your night is about to get exciting, and no matter what, don't hang up. If you guys had to choose a co-star that you haven't yet worked with for a future project, who would you choose? I personally would choose Morgan Freeman. Just, awesome. I feel like he's got like a lot of wisdom and a lot of swag that I literally just don't have. That's like, where, so like when cool. I walk, like he's just like zen. You know, when someone's like completely zen. Like you hear his voice and you just want to like. Yeah, go to a spa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or pay fifteen bucks for see him in a film. I don't know. <laughs> you know. Awesome. That's a cool one. What about you, Garrett? Um. Well, I always want to work with Emma Stone because I've always been a huge fan of Emma Stone. She's which, from my hometown. I'm actually really scared she's gonna see all of the interviews I've done where I've always said her name. And then we she'll just like think like I'm a creepy. Can funny. we just compile all of them and, and send them to her? It'll just be like, <laughs> and then ever. God. That's great. Oh, that's horrifying that's to think awesome. that how creepy that would, that would seem. <laughs> In honor of Don't Hang Up, can you show us your prank calling skills? I feel like I'm, worried that we're not going to live up to, to the that. expectations. Let's do it though. Let's I'm, do it. I, 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 I've, okay. I'm really excited. This is the coolest prank call ever. Whoever's about to receive this prank call, I'm really excited for them. Hannah, the that first one, person we're calling. Hannah's the one that does the fashion blog. Perfect. So two okay. men oh, prank wait. calling Hannah. Can we put it on speaker? About women's clothing. One second at me. This will be really fun. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> I don't know what to say. Hi, is that Hannah? Yeah. Hi, Hannah. Uh, this is Steve, and I've got my partner Mark with me. Hello. Hello. Um, we're calling from uh, a fashion uh, brand, and we've been kind of seeing your uh, fashion blogging online. We really like your style. Oh, thanks. But Hannah, really quick, um, I ordered some tighty whiteies the other day that I saw oh, that I saw online, and it's, I'm currently wearing them. And I've got a bit of a wedgie. 
Um, can I send them back, even though they've been worn? Mm. Dry clean them, and then put them back in the package. Okay, perfect. Okay, now my, par my partner Mark has, uh, an, you know, a, a concern too. So I, I was looking at what you've been writing about lately, and I was trying, um, I tend to wear women's pants, and I have bigger thighs. Could I send you a picture of me not fitting in these? And can, do you have any suggestions of how to like stretch out pants for like a wider hipped man? Or you could have just gotten a bigger size. No, but I like them to be really tight, you know? I, li I like a little bit of an outline. We like the bulge look. But I guess the point of this call is we want to be able to open up the door for you to have um, a men's section. Would you be interested in having um, a bulge fitting department that we could help write, write on with you? Yeah. Really? That's pretty great. That's great. Well, Hannah, my people will call your people and um, we'll be in contact. Spe speak soon. Take care. Stay well. Live strong. Are you single? Wow.